Welcome to my kitchen. Thank you for cooking with me, Andrea. Today we're going to be making goat soup. I'm excited. This is my first time honestly making goat soup. Uh, the inspiration was me and my husband were on vacation and we decided we wanted to try an Indonesian, Asian, Indian fusion kind of soup. So we have a soup packet here, but right now I'm going to get started with just boiling uh, the goat. Um, I'm always trying to find ways to add more flavor. So I have a piece of bone marrow here and a bone, nice bone. I usually use this uh, when I make steaks. I go ahead and bake them in the oven and pull the bone marrow out and I put it all over our steak. But I'm going to today use it for flavoring my meat. I'm going to take two pounds of goat meat. We wanted to try something different besides beef and the recipe called for oxtail. Oxtail is very expensive right now, and since it's my first time making this soup, I thought, oh, I don't know, let's try something else. So today we're going to try uh, goat. I've had goat before, though. I've had it in like a chili Colorado. Absolutely excellent. Um, and I'm going to add the bone marrow into the water, and then I have two tablespoons of onion powder and two tablespoons of uh, beef broth or granulated beef. I'm not going to use the seasoned packet until we actually go to make the soup. This meat's going to have to boil for at least, I believe, two hours. We'll check it every hour and then we'll go from there. But I believe it'll take at least two hours to cook this uh, to the point that I want it and then it'll be an hour to cook our actual soup. We'll be adding potatoes, carrots, celery, garlic, pearl onions, and some mushrooms. So. This soup, or the boiling water, is going to look like this with our meat chunks in there. And like I said, I just added the seasoning. We're going to go ahead and cover it and let it go for about two hours. Okay, and then we'll add the top. I'm going to push this back. And then I am going to show you... Our veggies so we're gonna have pearl onions and I'm not sure how many of these we're gonna use probably quite a few onion is flavor which is wonderful and then we're gonna use three carrots three celery we have six mushrooms and we're gonna add three cloves of garlic and I will probably end up doing probably two to three cups of fresh green beans so we're gonna trim them up and cut them and then we'll be able to go ahead and after our goat is boiled to a pretty tender state uh, then what we'll do is end up adding our vegetables and then that's when the sauce packet will come in um, I am going to wait to see how much uh, water that I actually have to use for the soup I'm hoping uh, since goat is kind of lean I will not have to use uh, any chicken I mean or beef stock I'm hoping I can use the actual water from the meat that we boiled um, if not then since it's my first time we'll go ahead and we'll do a beef broth um, and add the vegetables it'll render in flavor normally I use my own beef broth uh, but today I didn't because like I said it's a brand new soup wasn't sure how it was going to come out so I thought well boil the meat and then we can start with a good base uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these up because we will not add these for at least two hours. So I'll get everything nice and cut, but I did want to show you what we were going to put in there. And so when we come back, you'll see everything chopped and we'll start the soup. Welcome back. Um, my goat has been cooking for two and a half hours. Pretty tender there. I have this obsession with two and a half hours. I must like my meat pretty tender. Um, right now I have six cups of liquid in here. Uh, four cups is a beef broth and two is the boiling water. I didn't want to use all the boiling water that I use for the meat because I feel it's a little greasy. I prefer to have a, a cleaner broth, especially I do think it affects my vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and take the little packet we got from the soup packet because this is one we've been wanting to try. Like I said, it's an Indonesian uh, mix in between Indian and Asian and we did get it at the Asian store so I'm just going to go ahead and put this right in because I want it to dissolve 
I'm also going to go ahead and put my uh, two more cups of water. So all told, we'll have eight cups of liquid. In our family, we like our soup soupy. So I'm going to go ahead and get my little tiny uh, whisk and start whisking that around. Let that bouillon base or whatever it is uh, they gave me in the packet uh, dissolve. So while I'm letting that dissolve, I want to let you know that I cut six uh, mushrooms. I did three of the celery. I did some green beans, about two cups. And I did some carrots, uh, some pearl onions, garlic, three cloves of garlic, and I did five potatoes. In our beef soup, we like potatoes. So we're going to try ours as uh, like a, we're not sure what it is. We're excited to try it. It's our first time, but in our family, we love soup. We make our own um, uh, potato soup, creamy potato soup. We make chicken noodle soup. Uh, we make uh, creamy chicken soup. Uh, our favorite is chicken tortilla, so we love experimenting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding my vegetables because the water is coming to a boil and I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna add my potatoes first and then I guess we just dig in. Let's put some onions. We like onion in our family, the flavor, so we put quite a few onions in. And then I'll do green beans and carrots. We have a lot of veggies in our soup. We may have too many veggies, but the worst thing that'll happen is it'll be very flavorful. We can, we can always pull the vegetables out if I need to, if I've made too many. Um, but it's better to have more than not. Uh, nobody will go hungry. So I'm just going to go ahead and put everything into the pot. Vegetables are a good thing. Makes the liquid taste wonderful when you have vegetables boiling. I am not going to salt and pepper yet. I want to see how everything comes to a boil uh, with this new mix. So I'm going to wait and see what the flavor profile is. I've never really ever tried this soup before, so I'm really excited to try it. It's an easy one. I am going to move this so that you can see how jam-packed my soup is. Now remember, that's vegetables that have not cooked yet. So as soon as they start to cook down, it won't be as hearty. And then some of the vegetables will break up and I'll make it a, uh, just blend into my sauce so much better. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine on medium-high, no, high, and start it. And I'm using my new wave cooker because it'll boil. So. I expect this to be done in one hour's time. So what we'll do is we'll come back in an hour and check the soup. Welcome back. It's been about an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, the soup is done. The goat soup is done. I'm going to dish up a little bit. I've already tried it uh, throughout the cooking time, but I just want to show you, get a close up on how the goat looks. I've learned a few things now making goat this way. Uh, like I said, the only time I've ever had goat is in Mexican food. Uh, I learned next time I go and buy goat, I should buy goat with no bones and uh, I think it'd be easier. Um, but I just wanted to show you what the soup looks like. The broth is good. The soup base is good. To me, it really reminds me of a vegetable soup. Um, so I think it's good. I would buy the packet again. Um, so I'm going to try this. It is, the broth is delicious. Mm. All the vegetables are tender. I tried the meat earlier. That one you have to kind of take with your fingers and stuff or stick it with your fork and, you know, get the bones off. Um, so that's why I said, if anything, I would have bought a different kind of goat or cube goat, no bones, but I'm sure glad I did it. I've tried a lot of different uh, animals and I've tried a lot of innards, hearts, things like that, and I'm actually very pleased. Um, I kind of like the idea that we go and use the whole animal, don't waste anything. Uh, but I actually do like the soup, and it is a soup base, so actually thank you guys for coming into my kitchen with me and cooking my soup for the very first time. And I just wanted to make sure if you like the content, please like and subscribe. 
Thank you.